What's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay Sice, and we back with another tutorial. And I'm here to show y'all how to make any logo you want in 3D, but with Element 3D. I know you could use the new feature in After Effects 2023, where you could just drag in an OBJ and it'll pop up on screen. But nah, we're gonna use Element because Element has more options for you. That's just my personal opinion. Let's get straight into this. So we're gonna go to Google and just look for any logo. For me, I'm just gonna look for a simple uh, Nike logo. All right, so now once you have your logo, let's come to Photoshop, open that up. All right, so once you get it open in Photoshop, let's come over here to the right with your layers. You wanna right click and layer this from a background. And you wanna come over to your magic wand tool and you wanna start clicking in free spaces you wanna delete. So yeah, let's get right. Let's say you click and select everything over here and you have one spot that's probably missing. You just wanna hold shift and you wanna click in that area and it's gonna add it on to the rest. With everything selected, you want to hit delete. Then you want to right click, make a work path, export, paths to Illustrator. Click OK. You want to come over to your photos or wherever you saved that file. You want to open that. Once you get an illustrator, you just want to grab the selection tool. You want to highlight over your entire illustration. Then you want to hit Control C to copy the points. So now After Effects, you want to create a new composition. And you want to make a solid. You just copied everything from there. So all you have to do now is press Control V. Now, you can make this 3D by creating another solid. Drop an element on that job. Come down to custom layers, path layer one. Pick the logo layer, scene setup, extrude, and you got yourself a Nike logo. You can reset, you can change the bevel scale once you drag this in. Also, with the texture highlighted, sometimes you might get holes in your logo. You always draw back faces when you drag these type of objects into Element. Yeah. So now you have a full logo and you're ready to customize it. You can go to your presets. If you have textures, you can put any texture on it. Looking real nice, not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. You can even change the environment, you have environment. You know, give it some better light. And then, yeah, you ready to do whatever you want with this. You can make it bigger. You can also make it a multi object. Like, if this thing senses spaces, and like, let's say I have, I have five masks here, right? It's basically taking all of my masks and just separating them. So, if I, if I turn on multi object and I start displacing shit, I could basically do anything I want with this logo, so yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be back with more. Peace!